Hello everybody, it's Emery48 here and welcome back to another Star Wars Sunday. Today we are going over the new Rebuild the Galaxy Lego series. It's rather short uh, for about 20 minute episodes, 2025. Um, and it was a slow start if I'm honest. It, it, it started off pretty slow and the action really picks up towards the end. So a lot of the dialogue is not entertaining uh but that's fine it really did well with the cool pops of the characters switching uh so if there's characters that you like they probably switched sides in some way uh and most of that time was fun uh we get a light darth vader or uh, not darth just jedi vader or something um which is interesting to see the fact that he still went with the suit as a Jedi. Uh, Darth Jar Jar, most definitely the best point of the series, I'd say. Um, interesting that they didn't fix the galaxy. Uh, and that we hint to the Landalorian with still a baby Yoda, but seems not good. So it'll be interesting to see if they actually make another one of these because they kind of hinted that they, they they left it on a not really a cliffhanger but where the next story would go uh, and that that galaxy is still there, still like that. Um, <clears throat> so there can be more stories to come out of it. Uh, and there's a lot of other characters they haven't touched on yet. It was interesting to see the amount of characters they brought in. Like there was some, there was one from Young Jedi Adventures which I wasn't expecting to see uh, involved. But it was a fun little series. Uh, takes less than two hours to watch, so if you have some free time and you like Star Wars, go give it a watch. It does pick up uh, towards, towards the middle. That's all I have for this week's Star Wars Sunday. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below about Rebuild the Galaxy. Thank you everybody so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.